between Leon Edwards and Michael Bisping. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Bisping is nine years the elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC. Welterweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England! Ladies and gentlemen, an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael the Cup Biz P. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lobby. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight, they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Whoa! his feet yet again, all oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Checks the leg kick. Well, 
that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Look at a gorgeous at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Punch there by Edwards. Nice job by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect with his hands. Now changes the level. Full on mixed martial arts. Yeah. He can do it all. He's a fantastic striker. A guy that can mix it up. A guy that knows exactly where the opening is and isn't shy to take that open. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the club. 26 total strikes and now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big leg kick land. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent because he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Bisping gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch to the clinch. Beautiful straight right hand. Got the single collar tie. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Edwards. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, wow, his leg kicks are already taking effect. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Blocks the shot. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Ooh, big shot lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. What a body kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards, and as usual, DC, letting his fighting do the talking tonight. Letting his fight do the talking is all business. He's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England, and do his thing with his family. He's not gonna be on TV hooping and hollering. He's a guy that's here to do his job, go back home until he gets his title fight. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he eats a knee. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. This pink's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Oh! Big kick lands. Well, 
he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Edwards. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by knockout, Michael the Count Bisping! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's 